Avika, the striker, on 17. Kutuzo on 7. Mr. Kelechule on 9. And Gokie on jersey number 19. The substitute bench will comprise of Samson on number 5. Wallow on 16, Gautam on 10, Chingyong on 12, Vekoto on 21, Shejoto on 11, and Shurovuye on jersey number 30. As the defender clears the ball away for the man in yellow, the ball is at the middle of the park. And that will be the first fall of the game. And it's the team in blue with the set piece. 110 FC has Niwito as the goalkeeper, Mongtai on 12, Yongsen on 10, Nendi on 2, Asulian on 4, Senti on 9, Imlisunab on 6, Taka 15, Longshi 11, Yamko on 17, Zachamo on 14, Tangshoi on 3, Meribemo on 20, Ren on 8, Atanlo on 16, Iren on Jersey number seven, Longkoi 13, and Kyothungo as the substitute goalkeeper. A special mention to all our sponsors for this Dimapur District Football League, Okusa Toyota Dimapur. This is powered by MS Cosme Hub, co-sponsored by Kakit Turf, Case Constructions, Fitness House, and Bistro 29 Cafe. Now here's nine, looking for 10. It's back to the men in blues. As they come forward, looking for the through ball. And we'll find the player this time, looking for Avika. It's coolly collected by the goalkeeper. Now team in yellow come forward. This is Mary Bemo. Here with Asulin, now nine. Senti. And Longshi with the shot. It is drifted away for a goal kick. Now the team in blue come forward. And the referee has pointed for the corner. So it'll be the first corner kick of this game. Be taken by the men in blues. It's, it's a quick corner kick. Now the cross is there for yet another corner. Now 17, a very smart turn to get away from his marker is number 10, 10 on the ball, Yongsen is back to the Blues, the Ura area, now 19, that is somewhat of Here is Mary Bemo. Mary Bemo will find Longshi. Now the captain playing a very good true ball to the far right corner of the ground. And number 10 will get it. The shot comes in. Oh, that was a very good attempt. And had the, had the ball gone in at the back of the net, that would have been 1-0. So if you have just tuned in or joined us, 
The score as of now is nil. As we anticipate the first goal of this match, as Avika takes a quick goal kick to his left back. And looking for 17, we'll eventually find him, Avika, the striker, but is given away now the captain. Intercepted is back to the opposite captain. And the ball will somehow find number 20. It's back to 14. Here's Avika. Men in blue coming in. Now we'll find. It's back to three. Still with three. That is a good touch. And uh, danger is somehow averted in the form of an interception. Now it's Asuli. Asulian uh, will give it back to Nandi. Nandi is looking for. Yamko, but will not get it, and this time the shot comes in, and the shot is deflected for the third corner of this game, as we have a player injured for the man in yellow, the 110 FC. Now the, co now the third corner is... Oh, what a miss. What a miss. That the ball was on the plate for the rushing player, but he did everything right. He timed his jump quite well, just not getting the connection that he would have liked. And this will go as a chance begging. The score line is still nil-nil. Now nine, Senti. Senti will not get the return from Yongsen. Now some good footwork and the player is being tucked away in his jersey. The referee gives him a warning. Now it's back to the Blues in the midfield. Now we'll get the true ball, but he is in an offside position, as is Mr. Kelly, Kelly Chile, the striker for the men in blue. Both teams, of course, will look for a win in this, in this game. If not, tasted the win in this league as of now. Here's the captain. It's cleared away by the defense. The men in blue come forward. And the player is making the run, but... Now 10. Here is Avika. Avika with the clearance. Ball in no man's land now. Ball in the midfield. And that is very cheeky, cheeky nutmeg. Now four, still four, dispossessed by 14, Zachamo. One ten will clear it away this time. And 
Avigar plays it to his right back, Tony. And well, they are sort of looking for the long ball for the striker to make the run, but it won't happen this time. As the team in yellow comes forward to try and look for the first goal, and the flag will go up. And this will be an offside. Here's Avika. Is this the first goal? Yes, it is. It's the goal for the Ura area. 1-0. Avika making the run and it is actually the other player that has converted. The goal is scored by none other than jersey number nine, Mr. Kelly Chile. So it's the away team who has traveled far from the Ura area to come and score. And this 110 FC home serve, they come again, but this time the flag is up. Now Ura area once more will look to try and put some pressure on team in yellow. 110. Here is Mong Tae. Mong Tae fighting for the ball but will not get it. That is a good ball. Avika versus the goalkeeper. Avika versus the goalkeeper. 100 meter race. And the goalkeeper will somehow get it. Oh, that's some good body feint from the keeper. But uh, he has somehow not cleared the danger, which will come in the form of a corner kick. The fourth corner kick for the men in blues. They will look to try and take this quickly. Now this time the cross comes in the header, but the whistle is gone because the ball has hit the arm of the man in blue. Now what can 110 respond from here? They are a goal down, but we have plenty of time in this game to see a lot of goals as Avika tries to find room for a shot. Here is Tan Youngsen. Here is 11. 11 with the slightest touch and will be collected by Naga, Nagato. Nagato for Avika. Avika will give it back to his right back. And that is a good touch, but dispossessed. Here's 12.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Dimapur District Football League is up on Instagram as well. Ensure that you follow the page for all your highlights and your updates. We also have the uh, voting. We have the votings for the goal of the week on Instagram. You will find us on Dimapur District Football League. Ensure that you go and vote for your favorite goal. There are about four to five goals, some absolute magnificent shots and some stunning goals, which is being captured by the courtesy of Hornbill TV. As the man in blue gets another set piece. And this time, well, A kind announcement. We also have we also have a refreshment table that is set right here in the tent. So I request all of you to enjoy the game and enjoy the food as well. We have a special fried rice, Japan, Thailand, and Chinese style for your liking. We also have um, noodles, of course. So I request you to kindly treat yourself. Here is Katoho, Katoho to Avika. Avika loses his footing, is robbed by 14. 14 to 11, 11 still with the ball. 11 with a good cross and will run out of pitch. And will only be a goal kick. So Avika will breathe because this error could have been costly and referee points to the cooling break and also the refreshment break. Please come and treat yourself. The prices are very cheap. It's it's cheaper than Funky Buddha and all your other restaurants in and around Dimapur. See you guys after the break.
The ball is still in the 110 FC half. They will look to get the ball away from their half in order to get the equalizer that they're looking for. Skatoho lobs the ball forward, missing all three players, and number 16 will gather the ball. The right back for 110 FC. Atanlo. Avika. Avika again. Okay, so it's given away now. The team in yellow comes forward. And team in yellow is still 17. Corner kick. Corner kick comes in, but 110 will not get any sort of connection on the ball. The player making quite some ground just to give it away. Here is captain. The captain for 110 FC Monte. The ball is given away and looking for the shot. The player is brought down at the edge of the box and referee points to the spot and this will be a penal this will be a sp spot from the box I beg your pardon a penalty for team in yellow 110 and the player will be extremely dis dis disgusted to give away this penalty Remember, they are a goal down, and it's the captain from the spot, Mr. Katoho. And Katoho with a very, very good penalty. And the scoreline is 2 0 to Ura Area Village Football Club. So the players on the score sheet today is Mr. Uh, number nine, Kelly, with the first goal. And the second goal coming from... Uh, the second goal is from the spot. The spot kick taken well by their captain and their leader, Kato Ho. And this should instill some confidence for the men in blue going forward into this league. Winning their first, uh, bigger part in losing their opening game and drawing their second game. This is their third game. They will be happy to, they'll be happy with the result so far as the team in yellow comes to look for their first goal in this match. Here is 17, Yamko. Still yellow. It's all yellow at the moment. It's 16, 17. Looking for 16 again. And this time, uh, he has run out of the pitch. We'll only get a throw in for the team in blue. And Jersey number four has committed a fall, Asulen. But a quick free kick will do no damage to the team in yellow.
we have a lot of refreshments for all of you. We know you, all of you would come in good numbers, so you may kindly come and treat yourself with mouth-watering dishes, which is being prepared by the organizers as Avikal plays a little quick one-two. And we'll find support. Now the cross comes in. That we thought that the player would chest the ball and take a shot, but it was simply not there as he cheaply gave the ball away to the man in red uniform, the goalkeeper for 110. That is a foul throw. That is not the kind of kind of play 110 will be looking as they trail by a huge two goals. They will be looking to close the ga gap. And Avika has fall. Mary Bemo is down on the ground and gets a warning from the referee, Mr. Nahing, who is also assisted by Atoka and Hengulin. Now, Mary Bemo. Mary Bemo launches the ball to nine and what a goal. The goal is coming from none other than Mr. Senti for 110 FC. Well, this was a very good engineered goal by Mary Bemo, who was brought down by. They are striker, so the architect for this goal and the assist will go to Mr. Mary Bemo. Now, game on, ladies and gentlemen, is two to the Blues and one for the 110 FC. Now, 110 FC pressing hard, cut the hole. And Avika with a good touch for the right back. Four comes in, will keep the ball. The Blues will get the ball. Mary Bemo, the player with the delightful assist to get their goal back and close the gap. Team in yellow come forward again. Here is Katoho, one of the goal scorers for the goals today. Here is 16. Now 17. 17 with the low shot. It will only be... Referee says that's a push and the wave of attack for the team in yellow is brought to a halt with that free kick. <laughs> Avivito is brought down by Zachamo, here is the player, Avivito. Mary Bemo. Tim in blue will keep the throw in. And uh, that is a lack of communication with the with his teammates. And one team will be happy with that as they 
resume play from the right back. Here is Ten Young Sen. A good, promising player to their captain. And keeper has no problems. There's Katoho. Two will clear it. Uh, still with the blues. And that, oh, had the player got the touch, that could have spelled some trouble. <laughs> Mary Bemo, still Mary Bemo. I have uh, mentioned his name quite a lot in this match, seeing quite the ball here. That is a good true ball. The flick stays down. Here's Avika. Well, the final ball, the final third is just quite not, quite not there for the team in blue. They are doing everything right as of now. Uh, looking for the third goal. Here's four. Now Vika. Here's, here's four again, and we'll find Avika this time. And ladies and gentlemen, that's the whistle for the end of first half. The team in blues going forward by two goals, but the team in yellow responded with a goal back, and the scoreline in this halftime is 2-1. Digital platforms across your dish networks to your G uh, Geo TVs to your Tata Sky on YouTube live. Here is 110. And a special shout out to our sponsors Okusa Toyota. It's powered by Cosme Hub, co sponsored by Kakit Turf, Nagaland Fitness House, Case Constructions, and Bistro 29. We would also like to welcome the spectators and all the viewers for the remainder of this match is the team in blue 2-1. And this is a free kick from a very close, close range. This could spell some trouble as the referee just has a chit chat with the jersey number four of 110 FC. Mr. Asulen for the fall. Now the team in blue, the Ura area with the free kick. We have plenty of blue shirts in the box. 
and the ball has missed. This is a chance that goes begging yet again for the team in blue. And it might come and haunt them, not sure, as they were two goals up. And it is only a goal difference for now. Sixteen with the throw, Atanlo. There's fifteen for Ura. Avika, but he's not able to keep the ball in play. They throw in to the team in yellow. Just a reminder for all you viewers and spectators, there will be another game late this afternoon at 2 p.m. to be held at Dimapur District Sports Complex, famously known as the DDSC Stadium, as number five gives the ball rather cheaply to the keeper. The match to be played later in the afternoon will be against Irali Bill Football Club and Burma Camp FC. Free kick given away by Avika. Play to resume. Is looking for 17, is intercepted by Katoho. Here is Avika playing quite deep, who normally plays as the striker for the team. The whistle will go up as yet another free kick to 110 FC. Here is Mary Bemo. Mary Bemo with a very good assist in the first half. And that is a poor pass. He was looking for 17. We see what he was trying to do there. Just the execution let him down. Team in yellow, again, it's the ball is given cheaply. Avi with the throw. It's a corner kick to the team in blue. Ura with the throw in. The header comes in. Oh, that was... That was one special moment in this game. That could have been 3-1. We have a substitution for the Ura team. 11 will look to come on for 18. So, Shejoto will replace Seyevizo. Cut the hole with the clearance. And yet again, the ball is ran out of pitch. Now the blue with the throw in. Avi to cut the hole. Intercepted by the captain. Playing some good. Football in the center of the park. Here is Avika. Blues keeping the ball neatly until until it is given away. Now nine. 
No, 17. 17 will not get there and it's still blocked. The shot comes in by number 10. And somehow the ball has not found the back of the net. Keeper was drawn way out of his position. This time, this is pressure on the team that is leading by two, two goals. Substitution again, six will replace 16 for 110. That could have been the equalizer, just missing the far end of the post. So pretty much end-to-end -end stuff for both teams. The ball somehow being nutmegged. Here's 11. Long Chi, captain 12. It's intercepted by Simon Blue. He will turn away from his marker looking for Avika, but Avika is way down on the team's half. We understand he is looking to bring in some reinforcement for the defense team. Now here is Youngsen. Youngsen with a good flick, and that is a goal for 110 FC. It is the player that looked quite promising. Mr. Youngsen has got the ball back that his team were looking for. And now we have a game on our hands. What a delightful finish. The scoreline is 2-2 to 110 FC. Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, it's all back to square one, team in blues. Remember, we were just speaking about the ball might coming to haunt them. And somehow Aki has cleared the ball for now as Mary Bemo, another exciting player, ready for a throw in. Now the team in blue come forward. It's still the team in blue. Here is number five. Five with the shot. Oh, what a chance. What a chance for five. That could have been one of the promising solo goal. But the shot this time a little too slow. Here is five. Still five again, looking for seven. Kutuzo, the player that has come on, and five somehow will miss the ball. Here is the captain, Monte. Monte misses it again. Here is 13. 13 with the shot. It's way over the top. So a good comeback for the boys in blues as they conceded the equalizer. They nearly could have got the lead once again. Captain Mongte, Mongte is still with the ball. Mongte will be intercepted by Aki. Aki, one of the most hardworking player for the men in blues. And a sliding tackle, a sliding clearance as Aki is brought down by number 10, Youngsen. Youngsen, the goal scorer, pulling 
the gold bag and making all square. The scores are all level. It's Youngsen again. Now, team in blue has come forward. Is the cross coming in? Yes, it does, but it's way out of the pitch. It almost reached the newly constructed stadium. Now, a goal kick. Monte, Monte for 11. Here is Youngsen. Youngsen to Zachamo. Now Avika, who is playing more or less as the right back. And Katoho. Looking to launch the ball forward, but mistimed. It's Zachamo. Youngsen. And somehow, Nandy will avert the ball from a corner kick. So, a throw in to the team in blues. We have. A lot of game, we have a lot of time left in this game to see the third goal, if not fourth. As the team in blues come forward, the header comes in, oh my word! That could have been the third goal, what a miss! That is a sitter and the team in blues, the striking department has just let them down. They are doing everything right, but like I've said, just the final ball. Just the goal is missing. Oh, what a miss. Now 17 come forward, Yamko, but Katoho with some acrobatic action and his D box. Meribemo, dispossessed, 19. Here's Longshi. Longshi to Nendi. Nendi to Nevito. Nevito has given the ball to Aki. Now ball in the midfield area. And looking for a sweet true ball. Here is Avika. Avika will keep the ball. Comes forward. It's still with Avika somehow. Still with Avika. And that could have been an own goal. Wow, wow. <laughs> Tim and Blues come forward. They are desperately looking for the third goal. They will not. They will look to bounce back as they have given the ball twice. The player not happy with the offside decision, but the decision will stand as the set piece is taken. Monty will not find the ball. Here is seven. Visoto, Sezoto. But flag will be up for yet another offside.
Still with 14, the shot not yet, and this time the whistle will go. The captain is brought down, Monte. Free kick for the team in yellow. And not testing the goalkeeper. So ladies and gentlemen, the score line is still 2-2 two, two each for both the teams. The referee signaling for the ball. And a very smart work by the ball boy. So Ura area come once again. Good touch to Sejoto. It's back to the keeper, Niwito. Niwito will find 17, Yamko. Now it's back number three. And Mongte will gather as Lamsa again just loses the ball. Here is Sejoto. Sejoto will not find five. And team in yellow has come back. Mary Bemo looking for Yamko. Yamko will find the ball. And will also get a throw in. Here is the captain. Captain 12. Captain 110. Dispossessed. That is a good looking true ball. But also a very good work by the defense. It's back to 20. Mary Bemo. Three. A heavy touch, but somehow will keep the ball. The captain Monte. Monte is looking for 17. And substitutions, ladies and gentlemen. Jersey number three is coming on for 110 FC. And this the player Longkoi is substituted by Tang Soi. So Longkoi's day at the office has come to an end. Here is Sejoto. Good touch. A nice header there by Kataho. Here is Avi. Avi will find his player in the middle of the park. And uh, he just raises his hand.
Ball is given away by Sejoto, his captain Mongte. Mongte to Lamsagin. Now here is Asulin. Cleared away by jersey number two, Nendi. Blue comes forward again. Still with the blues, but somehow now Yongsen Yongsen to Zachamo Team in blue, come forward. That is a good true ball. Here is number seven. What can seven do from this sort of position? But it's not linking up well with Samson at the moment. Here, Monte, the midfielder, the engine for his team, has given the ball away. Now, a clearance. Now, Sejato will not get the connection. Monte will miss the ball. Still with the team in blue. Here is five. Samson. Samson gives it back, looking for the true ball. Has hit one of the players from 110. It's still five. The striker coming. But there is not much players in the box. And it's given away the five. The shot comes in, and it is a good block. As the player limps in some kind of pain. So jersey number 16 will come on for the Ura area. Mr. Wallow. Wallow will replace Kutozo. A good contribution by... By the player, the Kutozo. <laughs> now, Tim in yellow come forward again. Here is nine. Nine is moving away quickly from Wallow. The player that has just come on. Here is three. Here's Aki. And Mary Bemo will launch the ball forward. And Blue will keep the throw. Ura area with the throw. The score line is 2-2. Two, two. We wait for the third goal. Uh, it looks as though who scores the next goal will eventually be the winners. Here is Youngsen. Youngsen is dispossessed. Here is Avika. Avika with the shot, but not getting the ball under control as the ball is slashed wide away from the goal post. That's a good flick by the team in blue. Team in blue comes forward looking for the true ball for the number five, Samson.
The player down for the team in blue as he is helped by his medic. Team in blue will get the throw in. Is this throw in? Is the throw in? Is this throw in something that they will quite be happy about? Now, this is a very interesting throw. The long throw comes in. Keeper comes forward. Is this an on goal? Yes, it is an on goal by the jersey number 12. Well, the goal will be counted and the goal will be given to the player from the Ura area. Well, we'll have we'll have the confirmation in a bit, ladies and gentlemen. But nevertheless, the score line is three-two in favor of the team that we're leading into this match. So, a quick throw-in, a long throw-in has resulted in a goal. It will be the happier side, but they have the habit of allowing their opponents to equalize, and this time. They will look to tighten the screws for a bit as Aki tries to get away from his marker and somehow will get the ball. Here is Wallo. Now we'll get the fall. Just believe it. It is 3-3 in the closing stages of the game. And this is an own goal by the player. Avi Vito wearing the jersey number four. Oh, that will be a huge disappointment for the team in blue. They could have won this game 3-2. But we still have a few minutes in this game, ladies and gentlemen. This is football and anything can happen. Now 19. Now Wallo looking to fight for the ball. Monte, here's Wallo. Now can we have can we have the winner in this game? It's a mud watering contest. Here is Katoho. Katoho mistimes the ball. 
is given away to Youngsen. Youngsen comes forward and Wallow with the sliding tackle. Ball still with yellow. And it's all yellow as Youngsen pushes the ball. And we have seen six goals in this match, ladies and gentlemen. All six scored by different players. Can we have another drama? Does this game have another drama at the end of this? Dying minutes into this game. That is a push for Samson. And Samson will... Now the Blues taking a quick free kick and Mary Bemo will clear it. Uh, ball is still in the middle of the park. Here is five. Blues will get the throw. Nervous moments for both the teams and I'm sure it's a team in Blues that would like to go ahead in this game. Remember they were up three times until the yellow said, hold on. Here is three with the throw. Tongues away. Now 19. Here is Wallow. And Wallow lunges the ball forward as Samson sprints forward. Cut the hole with the long throw. The header comes in. Will the shot come in now? Yes, the shot comes in. Still cut the hole. Well, that look like the chance for the team in blue, but with that shot, it also talks about how the team is really, really struggling a little bit in the striking department. Now here is number nine for 110 FC. Senti. Youngsen. Youngsen will play it far wide for jersey number six, Imli Sunup, who is making the chase and will gather the ball. He prepares for the cross and the assistant referee. VOK is signal for the extra time of less than two minutes now. The team in blue come forward, here is Samson. It's still Samson. And Samson will get the throw in. A uh, bigger part in it has gone in the favor of 110 FC. Ladies and gentlemen, less than two minutes. Can we see a goal that will break either the yellow hearts or the blue hearts? It's all in. Now cut the hole. Now that is a good true ball. Is the goal coming in? Oh my word! 110 FC's hearts could have been broken into pieces, but with that shot, their hearts are still intact. As Ura area nearly, nearly, it's drama written all over this ground at the moment. We still have a few seconds as Mongti lunges the ball forward, and it is smartly done by Avika, and a quick release by the goalkeeper. We still have a few seconds left in this game, ladies and gentlemen. Can we see the final goal? As Avika lunges the ball forward, Samson heads it. Now the team in blue come again. What can the team in blue do? The ball is cleared away. Is this the final chance? Is this the final chance for the man in blue? The cross comes in, but it's quite not yet cleared. 
Tim and Blue come again. Here is Wallow. Wallow is dispossessed. The shot comes in. And that will be a corner. This will be the last kick of the game, ladies and gentlemen. The last kick for the game will be all pressure for the team in yellow. The hearts beating fast, the hearts racing fast. It's the team in blue. Can they head in? And that is a very poor corner kick. And we're all scores level. What an exciting match that has come to an end. Producing six goals and an own goal as well. And some good football from both the teams as they share points. At the end of the day, it's 3-3 three, three to both the teams. We thank you to all our sponsors, Okusa, Toyota, Dimapur, powered by MS Cosme Hub. Co-sponsors, Kakit Surf. The Nagaland Fitness House, Case Constructions, and Bistro 29. Thank you to all our spectators. We have a game on our hands as well as the Burma Camp FC takes on Irreliable FC at DDSC Sports Complex at 2 p.m.